The exciting thing in life to me is to get into a life-threatening situation. Now that's excitement. The Colombians told Max, this guy is a rat and we got to take him out because he's talking and telling everything on us. Max came to me and Max said, look, the Colombians want to pay $250,000 to whack this guy and kill him. I know your friends from New York. Get the guineas. They call them spaghetti boys. Get the spaghetti guys to come and whack Barry Seal. I flew to New York, spoke to my uncle. My uncle said, OK, I'll get you two guys tomorrow. Take them down and show them where to go. I called Max. I told Max, don't worry, everything's done, Max. And we spent about two days there in Louisiana. We showed them where Barry Seal lived, the hangars, where he worked at the airport. Showed these guys everything. The whole time I was there, not one time did I see Barry Seal. About a week later, my friends told me, sorry, whoever whacks this guy is going to get caught. He's walking with an entourage of government people. There's no way you're going to be able to whack this guy and not get caught. Max went and saw Rafa, and Rafa flew off the handle. That's it for you guys. You guys ain't going to work anymore because you can't knock this guy off. You know, I, I can't. I had nobody else. What do you want me to do? Go get some guys in the street to knock him off? You know, there's nothing I can do. Max fell out of favor with the Colombians because he couldn't whack the guy. Max tried to blame it on me. For a while, the, the Colombians were really mad with me. I mean, mad to the point where we didn't even work. I was really afraid at that point that I was going to get whacked myself because I couldn't do what they asked. Rafa came to my house, and he came with Favito Ochoa. And Favito was my friend. I hung out with him. We ran together, and Favito said, man, my family is really mad. I said, why? He said, can't you whack this guy for us? You don't understand the problems he's going to make. And I said, Favito, whoever does it is going to get caught. There's no way this can be done, man. If you're going to do it, you're going to have to get Indians to come from down there. And I'm telling you up front, they're going to jail for this. Well, when I told Favito that, that was enough for him. He went back there, and he smoothed it out with his family. And they decided, with their own stupidity as always, we'll take care of it ourselves. And they did. Last night, Seal's luck ran out. He was shot to death outside a Salvation Army halfway house in Baton Rouge, where he had been sentenced to spend the night for six months as part of his parole. Seal had refused to enter the government's witness protection program. The hit got farmed out to Kumbaba, who did, of course, go out and do the murder. Four Indians, they put him on a plane, they took him to Louisiana, and they must have put 100 holes in this guy outside the halfway house, and they got caught. Five Colombians basically are caught fleeing from Barry Seal's homicide out of their own in depth, they stuck out like sore thumbs in Baton Rouge. The FBI and the Drug Enforcement Agency tonight are trying to learn who ordered the assassination of one of the government's most important informants in the war on drugs.